What's good, YouTube? It's your boy T Flame T Fuego T. Get it out till I can't get it no more. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we got another tier list on the channel. This time, we're gonna be ranking every single metal fight release. We have some anime exclusives in here, but I know the combos for them, so they still gonna get ranked. Um, we have zero G base in here, which I haven't done a tier list for, but this is gonna serve as that because um, there's only I think two zero G releases. I don't know. Slash don't have weight. No, I think there's three. Anyway, we'll get to those when we get to those. But without any further ado, bro, I know y'all love these tier lists, bro. So make sure to leave a like and listen. A lot of y'all been freaking watching these videos, coming back, and not subscribing, man, bro. I'm talking to you. You know who you are. Click that subscribe button. Takes two seconds, and you get some more of this fire content I be dropping, bro. We really be dropping fire out here, bro. So make sure to subscribe because... I do have great stuff in the works, like always. But without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, if you knew, if if you seen the tiers, these look here are the staple five. We got goat, mid. Oh wait, 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 wait. wait. I forgot to add a tier. I forgot to add a tier. <laughs> Ooh. Add a row below. I forgot. I forgot to add a tier. This is supposed to be. Here we go. We got goat, solid, mid bad trash but we also added two new tiers actually three new tiers we got waste of money which is gonna be because we're looking at Beyblade as a whole i know prices and everything if something is not worth the money it's going down here bro because we will do live price lookups like i will look up the price right now if if i need some verification but and then we got supreme because we this is all Beyblades. so goat is great but, oh, no, 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 <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. But this is for bays that are just above, like, metal. These are the most iconic of the iconic. Greatest of, literally, above greatest of all time. These are, like, defining, bruh. Like, anyway, so pretty straightforward. Uh, I should change the color on this to be a little bit more in the center of that. Okay, there we go. And so, yeah, without any further ado, we got... We gotta start strong, all right? We got Storm Pegasus in this joint. Now, these are subject to change because we got a lot of bays to get through because we talking all the metal fight. If there's any bay that's missing, let me know in the comments. I literally spent an hour looking through tier lists and this one is the only one I saw that had pre-hybrids, all of them as well. So it should have everything, but if there's anything missing, let me know in the comments and then I guess I'll reply to your comment telling you where I will put it. But anyway, Storm Pegasus has to go in supreme listen 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 if you are a fan of metal fight you have to have storm pegasus if you are into competitive metal fight you have to have storm pegasus because of rf the easiest way to get the most competitive attack part is on rubber flat i'm going to be using a variety of, of thinking right some is going to be competitive some is going to be iconic but the ones that's in Supreme has to really be above and beyond in more than one category. And so, obviously, it's iconic RF. You get W105. I mean, not W105. You just get straight 105. Like, it just has to. Pegasus has to be up there. Pegasus. I don't even remember what I put it in the Metal Fusion. But when I look at all these bays, if there is a Metal Fight bay, you have to buy it. You cannot have a Metal Fight collection without Storm Pegasus. Period. Rock Leon is also going to go up into Supreme. All right, listen. Now, this might be a little biased, but the Rock Fusion wheel, solid. I, You know what? I did a video of the Rock Fusion wheel, like, I think it might have been a year ago at this point, but it's honestly probably going to get a remake. I like, like, well, I hope he gets a Metal Fight remake, but I'm talking about actually remaking some videos. I want to do another Rock video just because this thing does not get the love it deserves. It's good uh, uh, for attack. It's good for anti-attack. It's good for defense. It's not good at stamina. But it is so versatile in a limited format. And the Leon Energy Ring is top tier. Because not only is it good weight-wise, it pairs well with the with the rock. Because it, it the Leon... Uh, do, do I have a... I think... You know what? I, got, I gotta show this off. I think I have a rock Leon assembly here. You know, I have a, here's a back thing. Do I have a Rock Leon? I think I have one. Because we just, we just, I have to show this on the Rock. Okay, wait. Is this? Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. So listen. Listen. Rock. Here's Leon. 
my camera might not want to focus. Yeah, there we go. We got Leon right there. And it pairs perfectly with Rock because it's it's sloped, right? It's sloped. So the slope matches with Leon. And not only that, on something like Bakushin, it does the same thing. See how sloped it is? And the energy ring matches. 10 out of 10. Top tier. Top freaking tier. So, um, and Leon is just iconic. Um, it was, I believe, my third Beyblade I ever got. My first was Storm Pegasus. My second was Dark Bull. Leon was number three. But Leon has always been my favorite mascot because it's green. So shout out to Leon, right? Lightning Omega has to go in Supreme. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, not every bay is going to go in Supreme. I promise. I mean, because look at all the bays we're going to get through. Not everything can go in Supreme. But if, you know, if there was a defining three metal fight bays, it would be these three, right? Because I feel like everyone had these three. Earth Eagle, I know a lot of people say Earth Eagle is great, right? But, but. Earth Eagle is iconic for people who, like, played with, like, if you were on the playground back in the day. But in terms of just, I think, Bays, everybody owned. These three are the top three, right? Because Kiyoya has been a staple. And it's just really unfortunate. Rock Leon only got released once in Metal Fusion. And then in Metal Fight, in, like, an original Leon from Metal Fusion or, like, Metal Fight Beyblade is going to be very expensive. Which is why I'm glad we now have a mid-fake of this guy. Because a lot more people should have access to Rock Leon. Because it just, it's so cool. Um, but anyway, Lightning El Drago. I mean, come on. It was the first left spin Beyblade. In the limited format, this is the greatest, uh, one of the greatest attackers you can use. Um, it's just, it's great. It has great attack. It was great in Metal Fusion when it first came out. And this thing aged perfectly. Like, it's just, it's great. Like, come on now. The first left spin, great at, great at attack. Um, great at stabilization with that upper shape. Like, come on, man. This, 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 this is my favorite. Compa Leon is probably my favorite metal fight Beyblade, like all of all time. But El Drago is my favorite competitive Bay. So these two are right next to each other in terms of like my favorites, right? Um, anyway, Flame Sagittario. It's gonna go in mid. Um, see, people have been talking Zero U Sunday C145. I did a short one of it. In a, like, I think a Zero Use Sunday I did, like, a few months ago when I did, like, a bunch of testing your parts, I think, where C145 was in that. But we're going to do more of a dedicated C145 video in the near future. And so it's coming. But other than C145, you get Flame, which is all right. Sagittarius is a good energy ring, but, like, there's better Beyblade. If you're buying Flame, there's better Beyblades. I would recommend to buy Flame on that come with Flame. Um, we'll get to those by better Beyblades. There's only one and we'll get to that when we get to it But in terms of flame Sagittario, you're only buying this for the flame fusion wheel C145 is okay, but there are better parts than it There's no reason you see 145 when you have R145. I mean you know RUSW 145 But hey, we still got to do this, the dedicated C145 video So maybe this is subject to change, but really I think this is the most definition of mid um, this was iconic back in the day, right? So if you can get this guy used, I recommend it. But I will say, used Flame Sagittarios, actually, the prices are starting to decrease because of mid fakes. But this guy is one of the more on the expensive ends of <laughs> used bays. I remember, like a few years ago, buying one of these used $20, $30. Just because this was in a pretty good high demand. It was very iconic. Um... But honestly, today, I can't recommend buying it unless it's for collection purposes. And if your only real reason to be bought is collection purposes, I, I can't put you above mid. I mean, C145 is dope. I mean, in stock, honestly, in stock, it's not bad, which is kind of crazy. I've done stock battles testing, and this actually is actually somewhat decent. With, I'll, I'll have to do proof. Uh, but I think I just did a short. No, I just did a short. Flame Libra. Versus Flame Sagittarium. And Sagittarium hung on, bro. Like, anyway. Uh, Dark Bull is going to go in solid, right? All right, now listen. Dark Bull is one of the rarer Metal Fight Beyblades out there. Getting this guy in stock. Getting this guy new is just expensive. Um, the reason why this guy is in high demand, though, best energy ring, period. Uh, heaviest energy ring. Um, and then the spin track H145 is phenomenal for attack, but it's very, very fragile. And so, um, and there's two modes of it, I will say. I think I have one right here. 
I should have just had all the Beyblades going to talk about it out. If I don't see it right here, I'm not going to worry about it. But I think, I thought I had them right here. Mm. Nah, I guess I don't. Nah, I guess I don't. Oh, no, here it is. So, there's two modes of H145, right? And this, the only time you should battle with H145 is if it looks like this. Yeah, if it looks like this where it has the supports because the original one doesn't have those supports and so if you have an h145 that looks skinny don't use it because it's going to break really easy but h145 is great on like high attackers i love h145 it's my second favorite beyblade semi defense is really solid i like it a lot um but it's bet it's it's outclassed by like wd and things like that but i like sd is sometimes as you wear you can get a little bit more aggression but if you go in like worn stamina type, um, worn WD is always going to be the best. But regardless, I think this is a solid bay. The only thing I, I just can't recommend is the price on this guy. Just, you know what, for laughs and giggles, let's look this up. Let's look at the price. Let's look at the price. Um, let's see if I just search up Dark Bull for a, re a real one. Dark Bull Beyblade. Let's look. Uh, the, a new one is $230. Uh, let's see. Do they just have... Uh, this used one looks fake. No. Okay. Used one is $30. $35. $27. Yeah. Uh, $50. $28. $31.99. Uh, this is one of the used Beyblades that are a little expensive just because it's very high demand. Um, and, and was not produced a lot. It was produced, you know, in Metal Fusion, that initial run. Some Metal Fusion bays were produced in, the, in like, Metal Masters. Earth Virgo was, even though a Metal Masters Earth Virgo is kind of rare. Thermal Pisces was, Rock Aries was. Oh, wait. I'm not even showing y'all the tier list. But anyway, um, Dark Bull, I hope we get a mid-fake of it soon. But the only thing about the mid-fake one is the plastic might not be the greatest on the uh, H145, but we'll see. Um, but regardless, solid release. If you can get it in a lot, great. This is one of the ones that are on the... I would... I would If you bought one, I it's fine. Like, I think $30 is worth it enough for a Dark Bull because, I, I mean, it's cool. H145 is a good part. Semi-defense is solid and the energy ring is solid enough. Earth Eagle... I have to put it in Supreme. I want to try and limit every series to like four Supreme slots. So these are, I'm going to say, the Metal Fusion Supreme slots. Because looking at the rest of Metal Fusion, even the other bays, Metal Fusion, I don't think there's any other bay for Metal Fusion that is going to go in the Supreme slot. I mean, the Beyblades that were remade in the remake set were these five. Well, and Burn Phoenix. But um, in the set, it was these four plus a uh, Sagittario. And... I think that's just, I mean, Earth Eagle's iconic. Now, if you knew anything about competitive Beyblade back in the day, this was the one that was low-key rare in the stores. Like, I did not see Earth Eagle a lot. The only Earth Eagle I had was because I, like, got it from a trade with somebody. And I didn't even realize how strong it was at the time until I just started battling with it, and it always won. This was also only really, you know, I think the main reason why Earth Eagle wasn't as popular in Japan, even though it's very popular, was because it, it was, like, in Japan, they had the luxury of having stadiums like these. When it was Hasbro and all it was was walls and you couldn't knock out opponents, this guy was running things. So, I mean, it's self-explanatory. has to go up there. I'm going to try to start getting through these a little bit more faster now. Uh, Earth, I um, mean, Flame Libra. I love Flame Libra. I love Flame Libra more than Sagittario. Eternal Sharp, I think, is better than Sharp. But it's a little tall, meaning it's easier to destabilize. I think these two stick together. I'm not sure where I put them on my metal fight list, but this is from a holistic approach. This is going right next to it. And I love Libra. Like, personally, I put Libra in GOAT. But that's if it's, like, me personally. Um, but um, Flame is dope. Again, there's only... Let's just get this out the way. Uh... <laughs> Well, no, no, I'll wait till I get to it. But Flame Bixis, if you're buying, if you need a Flame Fusion wheel, get Flame Bixis. 
if you're for like competitive reasons, get flame bixes. That that's all you need. If you're if you're looking for collection, then fine. But if you're looking for competitive purposes, I cannot recommend ju or justify buying one of these two for the flame fusion wheel being the best part when flame bixes is right there and you get two thirty. Like just that's just it. So anyway, dark wolf is gonna go into bad. Um, the wolf energy ring is good. Dark is not good. DF-145 is not good. 145 spin tracks are just not great. Um, they're just... They're too tall to be good for attack. But then they're also too tall to be... Or they're too short to be good for defense. And the only 145 spin tracks are ones that are good with gimmicks. But, like, even though it's only, like, maybe GB-145 is the most iconic. Like, i recommend that one. Um, Poison Serpent... A lot of people will put it in trash. Uh, I'm going to put it in bad. The only reason why I'm not putting... No, no, I got to put it in trash. You know what? Both of these have to go into trash. Because I'm looking at it. We got a lot of bays. There's going to be a lot more bays that are bad rather than trash. And both of these are pretty much definitive um, showings of trash. Um, at least Serpent has SW145, which has good weight and semi-defense, but poison is bad. The energy ring is honestly the best part this thing comes with. Same with Dark Wolf. And I can't be like, you know, your energy ring is the reason why, you know, you're bad. No, you're they're they're trash. You should not buy these guys. Um anyway. Uh Mad Gasher. This is the plastic one. Waste of money for the pure fact that why would you buy this for collection purposes i guess but like why the hell would you buy this like a mad gasher are like they're rare and like let's look up mad gasher mad gasher beyblade let's go to shopping let's see i'm seeing dark gasher 60 dollars for use 60 bucks um that's for the plastic one 60 bucks 128 bucks yeah no nah, you're spending a yeah you, you're spending a, a pretty penny to get this guy and i'm like why the hell would you do that like why the hell would you do that no you shouldn't do that especially if you need these two come with the same parts practically i mean this one i think has flat spike over over semi flat but semi flat i think is better than flat, flat spike but they're both bad but um, this is going to go at the top of mid, though. You know, honestly, I put this in solid because both of these have the same reason to be bought. They're both around the same price. I think Dark Gasher is a little bit cheaper than Bull. Um, you could get this around, I believe, like 20 some dollars because I'm seeing some Dark Gasher listings. I see a Dark Gasher listing for 13 bucks. You're not going to see a Dark Bull for 13 bucks. So, um, yeah. Yeah. This is dope. Um, the energy rings are great and the spin tracks are great. So don't don't buy this when you can buy this. Okay. Burn Fire Blaze is gonna go in bad. Um, burn is really good, and that's about it. Metal Sharp is actually like not bad because like if you launch it, you just gotta launch it really good, and you launch it really like you launch it good and you keep it on a low height track metal sharp will be good but the only thing about metal sharp is that it's banned competitively because it puts holes in stadiums it gets it it it'd it be it begins stadiums pregnant bro no, i'm kidding but anyway um yeah no nah, i mean burn is great but like metal sharp is like it's iconic but it's just like you shouldn't use metal sharp because you're gonna like mess up your stain you know what? You know what though? No, it's gonna go at the top of mid because Burn Fire Blaze is better than both of these. Burn Fire Blaze is better than both of these. So yeah. Okay. Storm Aquario. This might I I wait, hold on. Let me just let me just look up Storm. Aquario, we're gonna look at the prices. I just I just want to look at the prices. Um before I like I already have an idea. But a storm aquario. 47 bucks, 40 bucks, 45 bucks, 50 bucks, 52 bucks, 
I, I I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. I can't. There is no reason to spend fifty bucks on this bay. If you don't have this bay in a lot, HF S is cool, but it's bad competitively. If you need a HF S, it's not on this list. But go to Bays and Bricks, get the mid fake eagle, the mid fake uh, uh, special edition eagle. If you need, because it comes with one hundred um, HF S. There is no reason to buy this other than collection purposes. But you know what? I'm going to take collection purposes out of my, like, justification. Because that could be used to justify buying any of these releases. So, we're not going to talk about collection purposes. But, like, why would you buy this? Like, the parts it comes with, Aquario is a good energy ring. But, like, that's not worth spending $50 for a good energy ring. Because, really, you could spend, like, what? If... 10 bucks mid fake galaxy pegasus energy ring is probably one of the heaviest mid fake energy rings spend if you want to spend 10 bucks on garbage get poison serpent right poison serpent has a heavy energy ring right hell mid fake dark gasher has a has a heavy energy ring right? this is also going to go in trash because it's a plastic wheel no justification um rock aries is going to go into bad um rock aries uh do we have the black rock aries in here that limited edition no but i will say the mid fake rock aries is actually not a bad buy um i know that it comes with d instead of ball and d is a lot better than ball um so i mean if we're talking about that one i would put it up in mid but because this is the, the normal one um you're probably gonna spend i don't even know I can imagine Rock Aries being a little expensive if you're getting it the original colors. Um, 30 bucks for an original color one, 49 bucks, so it's 50 bucks. 32 bucks, yeah, it's on a little bit more of the expensive side of the, um, of the like, uh, Metal Fight base. So, I mean, you can't justify spending 30 bucks on this guy, but if you're talking, I, I, if you need rock areas, get the mid fake one, period. Uh, the black one, just get that one. Um, it's still not the greatest, like, even the mid fake one isn't the greatest, but like, you get rock, you get ED145, which is okay. Um, well, mainly thing is weight. Aries is really good on screw because it doesn't mess, or spiral because it doesn't mess with the contact points, but anyway. Uh, thermal Pisces uh, trash. Um, it's literally thermal. You know what? No, it's gonna go in bad. I like thermal a lot. Thermal is really good for defense. It has an upper design, but T125 is bad. Pisces energy ring. I don't think there's anything to write home about. But thermal's dope enough. Um, I would honestly recommend probably. I like rock, but honestly, the best way to get rock if you get mid fake, just get mid fake Leon. Honestly, um, but. You know what? No, I'm going to keep Rock above it. Because I think Rock is better than Thermal. Yeah. Yeah, Rock is better than Thermal. Rock is better than Thermal. So, we're just comparing Fusion Wheels at this point. Earth Virgo is going to go into GOAT. GOAT. It's worth every penny. Um, Virgo, let, let's look up. I just want to look up Earth Virgo and see what the cheapest one would be. I know it gets a little expensive. Okay, 30, 32 bucks, 30 bucks, 35 bucks, 24 bucks, 22 bucks, 23 bucks. Okay, great. This is worth every penny. GB 125 is great. You're getting Earth. You're getting Virgo, which is a good energy ring. I think this bay looks beautiful. Literally, in stock, it'd be great as long as you just change the tip. Like, every part on this Beyblade is worth it other than the tip. Um, so really it's a little bit can get pricey, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Trust me You need GB 145 if you're a competitive player you need GB 145 period Waste of money because it's little on the expensive side. I believe there's a mid fake Capricorn, right? So get the mid fake one. Wait, is there a mid fake storm Capricorn? Because uh, I think I saw the mid fake one, but like I just never bought it. Okay. Yeah Yeah, there's a mid fake one out there get the mid fake one um capricorn i mean i'm a capricorn but like 
Get Spiral Capricorn if you need a Capricorn Beyblade. That's the real... Because, in my opinion, Spiral Capricorn is the best stock combo. But anyway. Um, Evil Jimios. Waste of money. There is no good part on this Beyblade. Jimios can be used on Flash, I guess. Or it's also paired on, like, Screw or Spiral a lot. Same like Scorpio. But, no. No. There's no reason you should buy this. Evil's bad. Energy rings, still, it's light. DF145 bads, FS is bad. There is no reason to buy this. Rock or so, D125 ball is going to go at the top of bad. Um, or so actually has a good weight to it. Um, you know what? I'll put it in mid. I'll put it in mid because it's better than both of these because you get rock and you get D125. This was the first time D125 was released in the US. I believe pre hybrid Beyblades might have had it. But in the U.S., this is the first time we got D125, and it is one of the greatest spin tracks. It is low. It's good enough to be low for stamina. It's good enough to be low for attack. It's great. Cyber Pegasus. Now, I'm going to talk about this as if we're talking about the Legend 1-2 because I'm going to put this in solid because, I mean, the red one, you get H145. Cyber is one of the greatest uh, hybrid wheels um, I mean, OG Pegasus is better. You know what? I'll put this in mid just because um, pre-hybrid Pegasus is better because we got to look at all these bays, right? And so we're going to pre-hybrid Pegasus is better than this. But uh, this does come with a metal face. So, I mean, I guess that, you know what? No, this goes in solid because you get a metal face. Um, I know this can get a little expensive, but if you need cyber, just get the, the Legends one, which should be should be um cheaper but looking at some cheap cyber pegasus listings we got 60 bucks the legends won 20 bucks yeah yeah if you're trying to get this red one you can get it i'd say likely at a lot um if you buy a lot so um yeah that's that's what i would recommend Ooh, that's like 300 dollars. okay anyway um but just because we have the legends version as well we're gonna it's gonna go in solid and i think the legends one is really pretty widely available pause i've been talking a lot we stay hydrated around here mm. Mm. all right let's start cranking through these rock scorpio is gonna go in solid jog ball is the best ball tip out there um because that's a little bit of aggression rock is great um i mean scorpio is light but this is probably the second best uh, rock because getting this used and getting Leon used, you'll get this for cheaper used. Um, so, I mean, if you need rock, it's either going to be Rock Scorpio or Rock Leon. One of those two. Baku Shin. Do we have the black one here too? I believe we should. Uh, we don't have the Eclipse version. I'm looking for the Eclipse version. I don't see the Eclipse version. So, we're going to talk about this as if it was the Eclipse version, uh, because that one has a mid-fake, and there's no reason to buy this white one, get the mid-fake one. Um, I'm going to put it in solid at the top, because the mid-fake one is really good. Um, you're getting, uh, Susano is a great energy ring, has good weight, it's similar slope design to, um... Leon and, uh, and I just realized it spells I think these orange details spell Susano, which is really cool um, Pegasus, I think Lacerda's things right here spell Lacerda um, I think Pegasus. No, it doesn't spell Pegasus. But anyway um, Highly recommend uh, Back cushion is one of the best fusion wheels out there uh, This is Ben K's Bay from the anime. I think it's like mad Leon 125 SF This isn't even able to be bought, but if you did It'd be a waste of money, but anyway, you like legitimately can't buy this Beyblade unless someone's like doing it. I've seen people do like recreations, be like, "Hey, this is like an anime type type recreation." What did he like? Looking at this Facebook, did he like draw? Looks like he just drew a, a character on there. Right? That's crazy. Galaxy Pegasus, goat. No, no, not solid. Goat. Um, W105, great. Pegasus Energy Ring, great. Uh, R2F, great. Galaxy, horrendous. Um, Ray is going to go in gold as well because you get CS, D125, great. Ray is solid, not the greatest. Unicorno is a good energy ring though. 
it pairs with three-sided stuff so if you want to use cyber or screw right there meteor drago supreme uh literally in metal, this defined spin stealing um i know beyblade i think plastic gen had spit like spin equalization or something like that but the whole rubber contact thing meteor drago defined a lot right so supreme it literally defined an entire archetype of beyblade which is like like the hand spun spin stealing spin equalization it defined a whole type of beyblade and literally it is like still used to this day in limited right hell i would even argue if you're using a spin stealer this would be better than like el drago guardian so or El drago el drago destroy so like use this in standard no it doesn't have much weight but still this is gonna go in supreme these are defining bays this was a very defining bay and yeah this was a very defining bay none of the other metal master bays are wait mm, yeah no none of the other metal master bays are gonna go in supreme both of you know what that's a lie that's a lie one more will gravity Persis is coming up here to spring here's the supreme from metal from metal masters um defined a meta game spinning both directions is crazy and when you have a shape like gravity where you can literally be attack stamina or defense you can't be bad like this shape just can't be bad it's a similar shape to rock and bakushin and that shape just can't be bad so um i mean even when they remade this guy in burst it was he was still good but um and then twisted tempo is just stupid because of like heavy like this these three defined okay beyblades getting serious when i was growing up and i had these three bays i was like all right beyblade is getting real serious metal masses had my favorite bays to be honest um metal fury was was cool big bay pegasus i think is top five bays for me but in terms of just like fun to play with these three right here honestly if you just had these three bays you were lit because you had left spin and right spin left spin and then this crazy right spin I mean, like, these were just great. Um, they defined, right? I mean, everyone knows Twisted Tempo. Like, Metal Masters, a lot of people probably won't know what Vulcan Herusius is, right? A lot of people might not remember Rock Zarafa, but I tell you so much. People that grew up with Metal Fusion, they'll be able to tell you Twisted Tempo, the Soft Erosion, and Meteor Dragon. Maybe Gravity Destroyed, too. Um, this is going to go in the top of GOAT. Um, I can't put it up in Supreme because it's not as iconic as all of these. But Hell Kerbex is great. Hell is just really great. It introduced the world to BD-145, the best spin track ever created. Which, it was supposed to be bad when it was used on other combos because of Fear of Scrape. But when you create tips that have good life after death, like CS, RDF, it gets mitigates the problems which this part was not was supposed to be balanced but it turned out being very broken and hell is really great the the only bad part on this bay is the tip but the tip is not like the bay is still good even in stock the tip is bad but like anyway that blue special release of it gave it ewd now if this came with ewd this would be the probably the best stock combo ever but anyway uh, eh, 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 eh. Okay, I'm going to put it in trash. Because the only reason why this bay has any value. The only reason it has any value is because one, it was in a random booster. And two, EWD. EWD is the main reason why people want this guy. Because like... Being random booster exclusive, you would think that would make these two expensive, right? Even the Hasbro ones, right? Because this Hasbro one was only released in like a stadium set, right? Um, but the thing is, is that these RS is really good, but RS is not nearly as competitive and needed as EWD. So you're going to spend a pretty penny on this joint. For EWD. But. The only reason why I can't say waste of money. Is because EWD is the best stamina tip. Period. Like I, I can't. And just because of how good EWD is. People might be like solid mid. No. The entire bay is trash. Like this bay is bad. 
But EWD is really good. Like UW 105, that that part is horrendous. It makes you scrape, bro. I don't even have that part, but I can look at it and tell you that it's bad. I don't even own this bay, but I own EWD because I literally bought EWD off of like Swift. Shout out to Swift. About like a year ago. Holy crap. I can't put this in mid. Uh, you know, I'll put it in bad. Because looking at it, it's better than both of these bays. Honestly, it could probably beat all of these. It probably won't beat or so. It could go, like in terms of bays it can beat, it could beat all of these and below. But nah, it's going to go in bad. I just, no. Uh, this is going to go in GOAT. Um, because this is the greatest value in a Beyblade you could ever get. You get wide defense, 230, flame, and Bixis. Bixis is great on, like, Vulcan. Um, it, the shape is really good. It's not the greatest because it is light. But, like, the shape does help with weight distribution on certain parts. But you just... There's a mid fake of this guy. The original one of this guy also isn't that expensive. So, it's just... Flame Bixis, if you're a competitive Beyblader, you have to have a Flame Bixis. You know what? I'll put it in the top of gold. You have to have Flame Bixis. Uh, I want to put this in Supreme because I think this is the best stock combo. But, like, I think I got to put it at the top of GOAT because I'm just thinking competitively. This thing had no appearance in the anime. It was used by Dr. Ziggurat who got folded. So, like, iconic-wise, it's not iconic. But, like... And competitive, this guy is iconic because it comes with two of the great. It comes with all the great parts. Like there's not a bad part on this bay, but like I can't say that like it's up here with all of these because all of these are great, but they also have like iconicness to them. This is great, but it doesn't have the iconicness of. It doesn't have the like. The status that these bays have so i gotta limit it and go i think this is the greatest stock combo of all time but it just it's not it cannot be with supreme it's just not vulcan vulcan vulcan's gonna go at the top of solid um the energy ring isn't great but vulcan is just one of the greatest attack wheels ever um and even though the stock combo isn't great i mean it's just the part vulcan is so good and meta to fighting that it just it goes up in the solid it just it really just goes up in the solid really so um yeah we'll put that there um counter scorpio don't buy this uh see this uh hmm. you know what? i'll put these both in solid uh mainly because these both have mid fakes and the mid fake rubber is really solid. I like it a lot because it's softer. It's great at better for defense. So um, both of these, you know, I'll put this down in mid because WD 145 is a very bad spin track. This one has better LAD because Tornado 145 actually has okay LAD. Um, WD 145 is is bad. But you know what? They're really the same thing. So I got to keep them next to each other. Grand Capricorn waste the money. Because the only person that released this is in, is, was Hasbro. And it's stuck in that set. Very expensive. Uh, Roxarafa is going to go up in GOAT. Uh, because R145 is great. You know what? This is the... Alright. Now, if I had to recommend someone to get Rock. Of any base. Even though I love Rock Leon. And I think Rock Orso and Rock Scorpio is great. This is the best value Beyblade that comes with Rock. Because you're getting Rock. You're getting R145. Great. And you're getting Wide Ball. Which comes with um leon but r145 is a really great like track it pairs actually really good with rock but uh anyway it's just up there poison virgo don't buy it's very bad uh pre uh pre hybrid virgo very expensive but literally it, i've never seen this beyblade be bad because the shape is just so great so uh this is a competitive goat but it's very expensive so we're gonna put it around it's gonna go at the top of solid you know what i'm thinking though we're gonna do some rearranging uh unicorno is gonna come down unicorno pegasus is also gonna come down um you know what pegasus is gonna stay up there unicorno is gonna come down because really cs and d120 is what's carrying it but it's gonna go at the top of solid thermal Lacerda, bad thermal's great uh w145 is 
okay. Whole flat is great, but together, bad. Energy ring has good weight, but nah. This is going to go in GOAT uh, because it has just a great attack shape. Um, um, it was expensive, but now there's a mid fake of it. Um, but regardless, I think it's worth the price. I think like 30, 40 bucks for this guy is actually worth it. Uh, Ray Gill, mid. Uh, it's going to go middle of mid. Ray is not is good, but the energy ring is good for attack because when it's exposed... But RSF is supposed to be good for defense. I think RS is better with defense. Um, but in stock, this is actually not bad. Um, all right, I think I'm just gonna put it in solid. Yeah, it's gonna go in solid. Yeah, it's gonna go in solid. Anyway, Cyclone Herculeo. Wow, this video is getting long. I'm gonna try and go through these faster. Uh, mid, top of mid. Cyclone's good for attack. I still say Fry Blaze is better. Or Phoenix is better. Um, the energy ring is solid enough. But W105 flat's not great. You can't buy these. Even if you could, you shouldn't. Burn Wolf comes with SW145, WD, and Burn. I think if you need Burn. Well, Burn Wolf is kind of expensive. Let's see. Let's look up Burn Wolf. Let's look at Burn Wolf. Anime Recolor. How much is he shed it selling it for? 70, 30, 29. And price tag is what's gonna bring this guy down to the bottom of mid. Because even though in stock this is great, the price tag, I can't justify it. Um I if you need burn, get this. You probably have WD somewhere in your collection so i mean sw 145 you're not missing out on it that much but like the energy ring comes with good weight i don't know we're gonna leave it like that flame serpent it's more expensive i'd say waste of money you know we're gonna put it in trash because you know put it top of trash because it is better than poison serpent but like flame on flat flat is a bad tip nah anyway you can't buy these Soul Blaze looks cool, but it's it's bad. Soul is not good. Uh, Dark Poseidon is very expensive, and it's Dark Poseidon, which is Dark Aquaria 145WD. Don't buy that. Trash for Pisces. Um, similar to Thermal, but doesn't have enough weight. So, no. Nightmare Rex. I'm still trying to figure out Nightmare because it's just not consistent enough for me. Um... Rex is a little light. You get SW145, I guess. I think this... I'm going to put this in bad. Um, Big Bang Pegasus is going to go in... It's going to go in solid. I like Big Bang for defense and attack. But Final Drive is not great. I want to put Fang Leon in Supreme so bad. I want to put him in Supreme so bad. But I can't. I can't. Yeah, the max this guy is going is in GOAT. Looking at all these guys. Yeah. You know what? Realistically, I think it goes right here. But my bias is going to put it right here. Because Hayes Kerbex is better than F in Fang. But Fang is just cooler. Uh, and it's, I think, more versatile. Use it for attack, defense. We're going to start moving towards using more... Um, uh, the 4D wheels. I know I stay limited, but I think we're going to start moving to the 4D format on this channel. Because it's limited, I love it, but I want to start expanding. You know, I did put this guy in trash. But then, we had the final Survive Zero Use Sunday. And that has flipped my entire perspective on this bag. To put it at the top of bad. <laughs> final Survive is actually good, Okay. A lot of people talk about it's bad, but if you have not seen my Zero Use Sunday on Final Survive, bro, you have to check it out. It is one of the greatest videos I've ever made on this channel. Um, anyway. Flash Sagittario is going to go in the top of Solid. Uh, you know what? No, no, it has to go and go. It has to go and go. Because you're getting... All the parts are great. They're just not great together. That's not a bad part. You're getting WD-230. Um, and then you get Sagittarius, which is one of the heaviest energy rings. Mm. 
Yeah, I think this guy's gonna have to go at the top of GOAT. I just think all the parts together aren't great. Like, this is a very bad stock comp. Well, kind of. Because you're 230, so you beat a lot of things that are, like, um, shorter than you naturally. But anyway. Very Eris. Solid. Top of solid, I'm gonna say. Dual spin. Great for attack. This is the closest shape you'll get to Blitz. Because those things retract and give you a really big gap for attack. This thing is great. People sleep. Uh, waste of money. Uh, yeah, don't buy that. I think Phantom Orion has to go in Supreme. Bearing Drive. This is one of the elite Metal Fury. Now, if you were around for Metal Fury, right? The least, I gotta say, probably the least popular of all three seasons. Metal Fight is, Fusion is iconic because it was the first. I'd say Metal Masters was iconic because we had the most, I gotta say, probably unique base. You had Meteor El Drago and El Dra These three right here, I think, were just crazier at the time than, like, some of this Metal Fury stuff. Um, I mean, also because in the West, we didn't get, like, we didn't get Phantom Orion like this. We got it in, well, kind of like this, but it was in that uh, Spark Effects. But, like, this one in the anime colors, we didn't get that. So, a lot of our view, my view is kind of, like, skewed a little bit because I didn't have these bases growing up. Um... Well, I had fake ones, but I'm talking about, like, the real ones. J Jupiter! We have a mid-fake now. Uh, and with the mid-fake, I gotta say, J Jupiter is a very mid Beyblade. <laughs> uh, rubber Ball's great. S130 is okay. Jade is interesting. It has a good... It has recoil, which is a little weird. But, um... It has recoil. Which is, like... Not the greatest, but like, wait, hold up. Oh, no. Oh, great. I thought I need to switch music playlist, but I already have them up. Okay, anyway. Um, no, nah, Jade, I, 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 if you spend $300 for this, you, you wasted your money. Um, I want to do another video testing it because weight, I guess is good. But other than that, it's not the greatest. Scythe Kronos, this was this was my favorite uh, Beyblade. I always wanted as a kid growing up. I uh, always wanted this, um, but they never really released this in the like. This guy never got that Spark Effects release, unfortunately. Where where they actually did the Hyper Blade version of it, which is unfortunate because this was my favorite. Um, this was my favorite freaking um, Metal Fury 4D Bay. Wow, we're already in 4D. Wait, no, we still have some Metal Masters things to go through, I think. Is there anything in Metal Masters that's glaring that's missing? Can't think of any. But Death Quetzalcoatl has to go and go. I mean, Scythe is great because, I mean, Duo is banned in some formats. Like, I know in 4D, Duo is banned, but Scythe is right there because it's literally a circle. So you can literally run Scythe Duo and I think it just be obnoxious and, like, maybe it's the Zero G format. But Death... Death, you get death is great for defense. Um, it's just great for defense. I personally think like maybe death should have been the evolution to Leon because it would have been like better for defense. But I guess Fang kind of matches Leon more. I don't know. Fang does look like an evolution of Rock. I mean, because it is. But death is really good for defense. I honestly thought this was like a little bit of a Pegasus because the um, the wings under here look like the parts in Big Bang Pegasus a little bit and gets Kotal. But RDF is crazy. Yeah, RDF is crazy. You get really good value here. So we're going to... Mm, it can get expensive. But I'm going to put it... Mm, yeah, it's going to go like right there. I like Fang more than it. You know what? No. Death is better than Fang. I can't be that biased. Yeah. Okay, this looks good. Greatest stock combo, but like all of these, if we're talking 40, is a little better. Scythe, this is because my bias. You know what? But Scythe is actually really good. No, we're going to leave that there. Yep, yeah, uh, Diablo has to go on Supreme. XD, I uh, know I'm my, well, y'all can't see because I'm not trying to show that, but Diablo is going up here. Uh, I mean, Diablo is the greatest attack fusion wheel, period. It has a stupid amount of recoil. Um, 
I'll just hold it here so y'all can see it. Um, the energy ring is off balance, but it has good weight. Um, XD, the drive, the drive it comes with, well, not driver, but driver is worse, but the, um, performance tip thing is bad, but I mean, it's Diablo. It's iconic. Like literally, if you know 4D, you know this guy, he's a menace. I mean, even in XD, if you put the XD on attack, this bay is good because it can just slam things and hit things hard. Proto Nemesis, waste of money. I did a zero use Sunday on this guy. He's still bad. I mean, the TT one is only good in that stadium. Is the TT version of this legal in the limited format? I don't think it's banned. So Loki, I need to get the original one and, and battle it. Um, I need to get the original one and test it in limited and see if it has any potential. Blitz, bring you up to Supreme. Um, I mean, this is for the greatest Beyblades of all time, and I mean, Blitz is the greatest attacker. I think Blitz is a lot more manageable than Diablo. Diablo can kind of scrape a little bit. Blitz doesn't have that issue. Um, I also think Blitz has better stamina than Diablo because Blitz is round. It has big recoil, but I think Blitz has just a little bit more stamina than Diablo because Diablo is uneven. Blitz is, Blitz is like a lot more clean, um, but Blitz is also very expensive and can break, so... Spiral Lyra. Wait, no, this is Spiral Fox with. Uh, honestly, both of these are going to go into mid because they are expensive, but all the parts they come with are good. Lyra is ED 145, Metal Flat. Metal Flat's good. Spiral's good. Lyra's actually good for attack because it's off balance. Fox, you get W2D, which is good. You get uh, TR 145, which is also really good, and W2D. So, like. You're good. Like, both of these are good. Like, in combo, I just can't justify spending, like, 50 to $75. Like, these two, even used, are very expensive. Fusion Hades. SWD is solid. Fusion is good for defense and destabilizing opponents. Same spin rubber. The only same spin rubber we get in Metal Fight that's not R145 that actually makes contact. So, this is going to go... This is going to go in solid yeah it's gonna go right about i think nah i prefer this guy to, to to ray but i think yeah that's about where it belongs beat links th170 great wd great beat people hate on it but i think it's good um it's gonna go in solid yeah it's gonna go solid above these two because th170 wd is really good and if you put this guy in defense i mean he's not bad Christ Cygnus. Cygnus is good. 145 is not. WD is good. But this guy, I mean, this isn't a bad combo. Yeah, I mean, this isn't a bad combo, but it's just, it's nothing. There's nothing like, oh my God, Cygnus. Like, I mean, Cygnus is not as good as like Scythe. Like now if they gave Scythe Cygnus's combo, which is 145 WD, Scythe would have been crazy. But I'm going to put Cygnus. I'm going to put it. Um, I like it better than these. So, yeah. Duo is going to go and go because it's broken. The price, though. Well, we have the mid fake one. I forgot. We have the mid fake one. I think it's going to go on the top of goat because really it's supposed to be all the parts on the Beyblade are supposed to be good. You know what? Is the justification for goat and being at the top of goat is every part is good? Scythe has to get moved down. Yeah. As much as I love Scythe, every part here is good. Every part here is good. Every part here is good. I mean, kind of T125, but that doesn't really matter. Every part here is good. Every part here is good. Most parts here are good. Every part, most parts here are good. And then, I mean, T125 is not bad, but EDS is not great. I actually pulled this guy when I was a kid. I got that Fusion Hades random boost and I was upset because I didn't, Fusion, didn't get Fusion Hades. But now seeing how expensive this guy is, the energy ring is honestly similar. It has a slope shape kind of like Leon. I love this guy. So, uh, but it is a waste of money. If you're spending a hundred some dollars, you're crazy. Uh, Trash, Omega, I want to test it out. I, I think they said that this was allowed in the um, limited format, but I think it was too heavy. So they banned it. But... I mean, the parts it comes with aren't great. But I think I'm just going to put it 
I think I'm gonna put it next to El Drago in bed. Um, I just need to do more testing with it. I have it, but it hasn't like. Why would you use this in the 4D format when you can use like Flash or Blitz or Big Bang or like Hell? I mean, in terms of weight, Screw or Spiral might even be better. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, Forbidden Ionis. I don't have Flat Ball or Forbidden, but Forbidden I know is similar to Flame. I'm gonna put it in bad because I don't think any of these parts are great. Uh, waste of money. Uh, if you didn't see my rant, there's no reason to spend $70, $100 on this guy. All right. Zero G. Samurai Efrit. Circle flat is great. Efrit. I need to do more testings with my zero G stuff, but Efrit's a little round. Doesn't have the most. I think this is mid. This comes with a metal face. SW145. W, I mean, SD. It's round. Has a little recoil. I think this is mid as well. This is going to go into solid just because it's very round. In Synchrome, if you put two Leviathans together, they're pretty solid. This is going to go in GOAT because it's better than Galaxy Pegasus in terms of attack. It also comes with the same parts, but I mean, I just love Samurai Pegasus. It's just, it's great. I mean, in competitive, I also like this guy. Dragoon. This guy's gonna go and go. I can't put him in Supreme because, I mean, this guy kind of ruined the Synchro meta. Like in Synchro, it's always Dragoon, Killerkin, Dragoon, Wyvang, or something like that. But this is, in my opinion, the best uh, Zero G release, and I think it belongs like right, right here, because I like. I'm testing this guy in Limited too. Solid, but Gyarados. Great for attack. Bagardos, Bagardos, my favorite attacker. Uh, because this thing paired with itself in Synchrome is actually kind of crazy. Um, so I'm going to put this thing in solid. We're going to move. Um, yeah, we're going to move uh, Vulcan down a few slots. Because even though Vulcan is good, we're going to move Unicorno down a few slots too. Yeah. Bakushin can go up. Honestly, Bakushin could be at the top just because Bakushin is just that good competitively. Look how crazy Beat and 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 Vulcan look very similar. But um, yeah, no, we're gonna keep Vulcan like. Now we're gonna keep Vulcan like right there. Okay. Anyway. Uh, Gladiator Bahamdia. Bahamdia is really crazy because of how big it is but it's not heavy which is like how it's balanced because if this thing was heavy the shape would make it kind of broken but i mean this guy paired on dragoon is kind of nuts uh this guy's just really good for attack and in the limited format too i like this guy for attack we're gonna do a video on this guy at some point um yeah i think in the limited format i think he's better this is better in the limited format because it's bigger but this, I think, is better in Synchrome because two of these pairs together is kind of crazy. And honestly, this has the shape of Rhino Horn, which is kind of crazy, but the shape is good here, actually. Banded Golem is going to go in mid. A lot of these 0G bases in mid. This is going to go in solid because it's round. It's going to go right next to because these were brothers. And I like Orochi. I think Leviathan is heavier, but I think Orochi is smoother. I like that one more. Killerkin. Um, I don't have this in stock. Wait, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, this guy is really good. This guy is really good. This guy is really good. Um, I can't put him in GOAT because, I mean, you're getting Killerkin and that's it. All the other parts are kind of ass. But, yeah. Uh, this comes with, this is Flame Sagittarius combo, C145S. Which is great because C145 was like needed a re-release. So I'm glad they finally gave it to another bay. But like I also like, well they didn't do this in America. But in Japan a lot of these bays just came with metal faces. Which is cool. And so, but no, this guy is mid. This, the Phoenix or the Phoenix. E230 is great. GCF is actually kind of crazy. And Thief is like the best, I think, 0G wheel in limited format. I think this goes in GOAT, mm, but I, it's just not as iconic as these, right? 
Like, at least in GOAT. GOAT is, like, great stock combos, but also all of these are iconic in their own way. The probably least iconic one up here is, like, Aquario, kind of. And this, but, like, in terms of competitive, they're very much used. This is used competitively, but, like, I think all of these have more parts that are more, like, competitively, like, oh, my God, than this. Mm, I'm going to put it, like, right here. Uh, I don't have this. I think this is Wyvang. Wait, no. I think this is Balro. Uh, F230 is great, but I don't have it. Um, Archer Gargoyle. You get SA160 on this way and, and, and WSF, which I like, but they those parts are not good. Uh, SA160 is really good, but yeah, no, it, it can't go above mid. It goes in the middle of mid, too. Uh, this goes in GOAT. Uh, this is the best, probably top five limited format parts, metal wheels. It's up there with Spiral. You know what? I think Spiral's better than it, but this has more stamina and it has an upper attack. Spiral has less stamina, but is more... Spiral's better for attack, but both of these are really good. Um, and I think you can get a decent pre hybrid Pegasus, depending on oh, for a decent price. price. Wing Pegasus, good for defense... I just, I think it's going to go in solid. WF is bad, but you get 90, which is good. Yeah, it goes about right there. I like Wing. Grabber Leon is going to go up to GOAT. Great anti-attacker. Great for defense. Great for, like, kind of attack, but mainly anti-attack. But this is going to go towards the... It's not better than Virgo. Actually, no, it has to go down into solid. I love this guy, but no, looking at it. I want to put it in GOAT because I love it. It has two of my favorite two of my favorite colors, purple and green. But I can't put it up there. can't justify it. It's going to go at the bottom of solid, really. Yeah, look at all these. It goes at the bottom of solid. pre Drago. Drago. Bad. Bad. But y'all want to see something crazy? Where'd I put it? I'll show y'all a preview. Where'd I put it? Oh, did I? Oh, here it is. Speaking of pre-hybrid El Drago. Trash. But, if you stick around for this long, video coming soon. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say. I will not elaborate. I will not elaborate. Um, Lightning El Drago, this will just go next to the normal one. Because it's still the same combo. Uh, this one... Um, comes with W105 or LW105 or DF105, I don't remember. LRF, good for attack, good weight. Um, this is what it should have been. I think this should have been the stock combo, really. Um, but we'll put this guy in solid because the stock combo is a lot better. Um, and shout out to Metal, Metal, Metal Tops Incorporated, put me on to this combo which is in stock but like this is the best way you're gonna use the El Dragos I'll put it at the top of mid though change my mind you know what no no solid goes to the bottom of solid um a Drago Guardian I like it a lot it's gonna go next to this I really like it you can kind of mitigate the LAD factors with like SW105 or something like that but, like, it still had kind of struggles with LED. But I do think this is, like... Yeah, no. Nah, we have to have some El Drago love in GOAT. So, th you know what? Fuck it. This is my list. Both of these are going to go... Excuse me, my list. Both of these are going to go in GOAT. Because they look cool, okay? This is my list. I don't give a damn. <laughs> don't buy this. It's so cool. The design is so cool. I loved this Beyblade growing up because I thought it was... This is one of the first Japanese Beys I got because I got that set for like 30 bucks. I don't know how, but it was on sale on eBay. The set that came with this, pre hybrid Pegasus and pre hybrid Aquario. Three of the Beys I wanted the most as a kid. And it came with a black string launcher, which was great. But this is just not good. This is not good. There's no good part about it. The upper design is bad. pre hybrid pi What? We have two of them. One has a lighter face bolt. I guess, I don't know. pre hybrid Sagittario. Uh, trash. It has decent recoily shape. This is kind of how you can see how this looks like it would evolve into Flash. Because Flash has good aggression. This does too, but Flame is too round. But I guess this should have been like the middle. Like we should have intro been introduced to Kenta and he had this. 
because this would have been cooler. Grabbered Bull. Bad. Uh, yeah, it's going to go at the top of bad because as it has good aggression, but it's too light to take advantage of its recoil. Uh, T125, Flat Ball, Divine Chimera, kind of expensive. But I think you can get this guy for like 30 bucks. If you get this guy for like 20, 30 bucks, all right then. Uh, Libra, it's gonna go in a goat, uh, just because it's gonna go at the bottom. You know, it's gonna go like, yeah, it's gonna go. I think it's better than Virgo. You know what? Yeah, you know, I'll put it right here. Libra, very good, heaviest pre hybrid stamina wheel. Gets a codal. My new favorite attacker. Um, Honestly, yeah, it's better than all of these for attack. Yeah, pre-hybrid Quetzalcoatl is gonna go like right here. This thing is so good for attack. It's like the, it's like, like Wolf has that upper design but doesn't do it well. This does that upper design phenomenally. I'm so glad I bought this thing. Uh, I got the mid fake one. It just, it's so good for attack. It's just so good. You need this guy. If you're, if you're limited format, you need this guy. And the last Beyblade is pre-hybrid else pre-hybrid scorp yo this is gonna go in it has no good parts it has no good parts but like it's round You know what? It's going to the top of waste your money. Meaning it's like at the bottom of trash. But like. You know what? We'll put it at the bottom of trash. Just because at least it's round and cool. You know, there's an argument to be made for it. There's not an argument that could be made for any of these. I mean, here, you know, we got Quake. So we'll readjust that. So, okay, there we go. This is like a movie, bro. We've been chatting for a whole hour, bro. You gotta like this video for that, man. But anyway, looking at this list, let me know any bays that I'm missing. Would I make any modifications? Let me look. We're going to go through this. See if I would make any modifications. You know what? Golden armor is going to have to come down. I was being kind of stupid in that. It'll go. Yeah, now let's go at the bottom of solid. Um, okay. Very Eris is going to go up. Wing Pegasus is going to come down. To like there uh -huh. okay it's coming to me yeah it's coming to me uh, I think I like Orso more than Herculeo well all right let me hide my cam so you all can see the list but here is the list of every single metal fight beyblade release the only thing that should be missing is maybe some special editions but other than that all the parts should be recommend oh i think divine crown is missing but that we have divine on here but look so yeah let me know in the comments what you would change but nah this is my list bro this is the definitive list so Hey, yo, this is a whole movie, whole hour-long video. Hey, yo, you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what, what should go where. Tell me why I'm wrong if you think I'm wrong. But anyway, thank y'all for checking out today's video. I'll see y'all next video. Peace.